Hello everyone! Today I'm going to try to recreate something on this galvanized sign in resin that I've seen done in acrylic paint. And I'm hoping it works, but you'll see it you'll see it as it happens. And then tomorrow I will show you the dried result, which these galvanized signs are a little warped. I get these from uh, Michaels. They have them um, in different sizes. And they have hardware already attached to the back. I have the whole back taped off. I have... Um, I have um, um, it as level as I'm going to get it. I hate to say that. You know. So anyway, and I saw... Um, oh, his name's Michael. M-L-K-G... I'll put a link to his um, channel below if I get his permission. I have to ask his permission first because I always do that. But anyway, I think it was Joe Patty that showed him to make a cup like this. Except he glues them inside. The small one inside the medium, the medium inside the large. Reason I did it this way, where I just matched up all the all the tops and stapled it right here. I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see the staple right there or not. Reason I did it that way was because I wanted to, I want even though they're different size cups, I wanted it to all flow out the same way. Oops. I guess I should put my glasses on. And I'm going to mix up the resin, too, while I'm talking. Okay, let me find my little lines. Um, I'm probably mixing up more than I need. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cover the whole thing in one color. And that's going to be this coral. Okay? And then in the cup, I know I've seen the uh, wing pours done. That's what I'm trying to do today is a wing pour but I don't know if it's gonna work because it's resin so anyway um, I'm gonna put the background color coral in the little cup then probably the white right here oops and the brown right here and then pour them out with the thing at a slant after I've co covered the whole thing in um, resin with the coral in it don't know if it's gonna work we will find out together. I normally don't mix my resin while the camera's going. Ah, oh, I hate these cups. I can't see the line very well. Um, I normally don't mix my resin. And I just did it ass backwards. Oh, backwards, too. I just put the... Uh, hardener in first which really I should have put the resin in first but well it should still mix up and I'm mixing up eight ounces I know that's going to give me plenty for this and it's also going to give me some for um for um, um some coasters too which I love doing coasters in the colors that I've made okay come on up to eight. Oh, I hate this that I can't see. Nope, it's only up to six. Oh, this is why I got those um, other cups, but I'm trying to use up these too, so. Um, let me try to get this up to the eight. There we go. There we go. Okay, good enough. You have to be exact with your measurements when you're mixing resin. I'm using the Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. Or, yeah, Art Coat is what they call it. Um, they, use, they, they make the ones for countertops. And they make a quick coat. Uh, already I got something in there. 
and I think I got it at, yeah. I don't know what it was, but I got, nope. Damn it. I cannot believe I got little, little stuff in there already. Now you want to mix your, your uh, resin after you pour it in. You want to mix it for a good two to three minutes. You want to make sure you're constantly scraping your sides. Scrape the bottom. Every now and then, take your stick and scrape. And oops, I hope this is on camera. Um, scrape it. Um, scrape it on the side too. Now I taped off the back. This is warped. I tried my hardest to get it unwarped. If that's a word, I don't know. Um, so, I am um, got, hopefully I got it unwarped and as flat as I can get it. And I'm, I don't want it to run under and I know some of it's going to run off. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, um, I got cups, uh, lit, lids under there, paint can lids. Those things work really good to put your work, to get your work above the, uh, you know, up above the work surface. Um, and you just let the resin dry on them. And then eventually when it's dry the next day, you just sit there with a little exacto knife. You peel up the edges and the resin just peels right off of it. It's just... Your, hang on, let me grab one. It's just your lids from spray cans. They're all the same size, or the same height, I should say. And that's good because in that way, they make really, really good um, little um, um, pedestals to put it on. Okay. That... That looks like, let me, let me look at it with the light going through it. Yep, that looks like it's mixed up. Now, I'm not going to pour the resin into this cup. Um, I'm going to mix the colors in these cups. And I'm going to mix the coral in that one and then the white and the brown over. Oops, you know what I need to do? I forgot to do this. Earlier, I tried to do a ring pour earlier using it using these type of cups, the the three cups together, but uh, it didn't. Um, I poured it the wrong way. I poured it out the wrong way, so of course it wasn't a. Uh, it wasn't going to be a. Uh, whoops! It is open. I thought I had closed it. Okay, come on. I'm going to have to find myself a little jar with a lid to put this in because I hate these plastic bags trying to open them. So, basically these are mica powders. I think I got this, I got all of them on Amazon. Um, and what it is, is uh, this one I know is made for, um, is for bath and, and, and soap products. Might be for cosmetics, too. Okay. Let me make sure. Nope. Still not closed. Uh, I will close it later. I'll just put it over there. Oh, okay. There I see it. It says, My Mix Jenna Mica. Health and Beauty on it. Okay. And then I'm going to do some white and some brown. And hopefully, hopefully I can open these with my gloves on. Oh, man, don't tell me I'm going to have to take my gloves off. Let me find something I can stick in there. I should have done this before I turned on the camera. Sorry about that, everybody. I got a, I'm looking for a pair of scissors to, because I think... The way they seal these, I think it's sealed right here. And then, of course, it's got the little zip part, too, that seals it. So, I'm cutting off 
the top edge and then I have to stick this down in there because my fingers are too fat with the gloves on and I will worry about closing it after I turn off the camera okay now I'm not doing a whole lot of either of these because Hopefully these are going to be the uh, be the uh, wings. I hope. I don't know. We will find out. Okay, I'm not even going to fuss with this one. I'm going to just cut the top. Make quick work of it. Note to self, open little plastic bags before you turn on the camera because you're going to waste people's time while they're watching you. I mean, you can fast forward through this part if you want. Mm. Well, fiddlesticks, as my mom used to say. Am I giving away my age? <laughs> I'm not quite 60 yet. I'm a little bit older probably than half of my audience, but hopefully you feel like you're learning something from me as I do these. Okay, and here's my brown. This color is called uh, mahogany is what it's called. Okay, and this one and the pure white are both by Black Diamond, and I got those on Amazon too. Okay, now, let me give this one more mix to make sure everything's mixed in there good. And now, the reason I put the powder in before I put the uh, resin in is because if you put the resin on, if you put the powder on top of the resin and try to mix it, the powder's just going to all float out. I do want more brown than white because I'm hoping that when I do the, oh yeah, I made way, way too much. Okay. Okay. Then you want to make sure it's mixed in really good. Now, because the powder was on the bottom, you want to make sure you're scraping that bottom to get all that powder off. You might have some powder stuck to the stick, so scrape the side of the stick. And I'm still using popsicle sticks instead of reusable uh, acrylic sticks because I've got a lot of them to use up. I might as well use them. I paid for them, right? Okay, there's my coral. Now my white. And, oh, the, well, i got to mix it a little bit more. It's, it's not as opaque as I thought it would be. But then you might be able to see some of the coral through it. Because the coral is going to be the... I got powder on my... On my... Subst on my sign. There we go. Okay, now the brown. And again, make sure you're scraping the bottom to get it up off of there. Oh, this one's pretty. I like working with mica powders because they're just so shimmery. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, this one's going to be the outside color. Um, so what, you, what I do is, because I don't want to get any of this in the other, in the other three cups, I've got them stapled right there, but I kind of bend them a little bit. These are paper cups. These are not um, um, plastic cups, so they bend a little bit easier. Okay, there we go. I don't really have any brown left in there now, but that's okay. 
Okay, now, and the reason I'm doing it in these three cups, I saw that guy in Germany. I know his first name's Michael. I don't, I'll have to ask his permission to link him. I know I can put Joe Patty's um, channel link underneath that. Okay, now, reason I'm, the reason you do this is because um, it keeps the colors separate, okay? But they're going to all mix together as they come out, but not while they're sitting in the cup. Okay, now, I'm going to do my border around here. Scrape it all out. I probably will mix up some more for coasters because I've got quite a bit of resin left. How much should I how much do I have left in there? I'm just curious. Where is my ounce markings? Oh there it is. Oh, four ounces. Oh Lord. Okay, now you don't want to push it over the edge, you just want to push it right up to the edge. That's what I'm doing right now, is I'm trying to get it as close as I can to the edge without it going over. And I can see that it's going to try to go that way, whether I want it to or not. I forgot to check to see which side, which side is the top. And it looks like, looks like this is the top, so I'm going to have to pour this way. Now I'm going to have to pour from this end, that's right. You have to pour from the bottom of a long um, canvas. Well, in this case, this is, this is my canvas. You have to pour from the, uh, from the bottom because the wings hopefully will come up and then when I tilt it a little bit, they'll spread out so the bottom of the wings will be down here. Now, I'm, I know it's not covering it. You can still see some of it, but that's okay. But I do want a coating of the coral on the bottom because it, the resin that I pour on it is going to need the, um, the uh, other resin down there to help it glide across. So I'm just trying to make sure I get a thin layer all over it. I don't care that you can see part of the gray galvanized metal through it. I probably should have painted this, but I just I have a bunch of these over in the corner and I had some taped up and I didn't know what what to pour this on today. So I just grabbed one of these because it was already taped up. Okay. Now, for up, oh, forgot to get an alcohol rag. You can use baby wipes too, but I kind of cheat. I go to the thrift store, and I they sell these big bags of t-shirts that they can, that are so they can't sell them as t-shirts because they're just not um. They're just not that great for t-shirts. You know, they might have holes in them. They might The design might be off of there. They might be a little yellow. So, oh, I ended up with two rags. Oh, well. Thought it felt thick. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with some heat just to get rid of any of the air bubbles. And I've got a thin layer. Even though you can see the gray in some spots, there is some uh, resin down in all those spots. I mean, I can go back over it um, to the parts that don't have it. Okay. I got my heat down. Now, what I have seen them do, and I know this is going to look weird, 
I have seen them pour this way, this way, starting down here, which is supposed to be the bottom, and they tilt it up. Now, I don't want to have to put something under it. There we go. Ah, oh, there's my white. kind of making kind of making wings okay I'm trying to get all the resin out but I don't want I don't want any drips oh, now I see why I don't have that much brown a lot of it made it on the table wasn't paying attention okay basically first I want to stretch it this way and I want to do get it to go to the side. See, I what reason I put them in the three separate cups is so I would have some definition between my lines. Now I don't want to stretch it out too far. Because I do want to kind of keep the wing shape. Okay. Let me hit it with some heat now to get it a little bit liquid so it'll move a little bit more. And get rid of the air bubbles. I can see I'm going to have to mix up a little bit more coral to put it around. It looks a little thin in spots. Okay. And, oh, this is terrible. I missed the whole canvas with this brown. Let me see if I can pick some of it up. Just to get some of it on here. You don't want to waste your resin. That was a definite rookie mistake right there. Now, what's left out down there, I will do some squishy coasters. Well, that's about as good as I'm going to get with the wing shape. Because you got to remember, resin does not act like acrylic paints, okay? I'm trying to get some of it down here. Get some more of it up here. Resin does not act like acrylic paints. So, resin's going to do what resin wants to do. Okay, now, I'll blow it around a little bit, but first... I want to make up just a hair bit more coral in this cup so I can get the coral around the outside okay and when you do that you don't want to put your resin stick that you were just using the mix a couple minutes ago in there you want to take it out And of course, here I forgot to, there we go, got it. Okay, it's going to, there we go. Okay, it's, you can tell it's, it's leaning a little bit towards that way. Okay, there we go. Just put that open bag right there. Please don't fall. Oh, you know what? Now, I put the mica powder in after the resin, so I don't want it to all float out as I start stirring. So the first first little bit of stirring, you got to do it slow to get the powder mixed in with the resin. Then you can then you can do the um, the faster mixing. 
this is going to end up just a little bit darker it looks like but oh well Okay, now let me hit it with the heat gun to get rid of the air bubbles. It's, it's not looking like wings at all now. That is terrible. But you know what? I wanted to try it. I wanted to see how close I could get to, cut, to getting wings out of this pour. And when I was watching his video yesterday and today, I watched it again today just to be sure. Um, okay, I just want to even out the resin just a little bit. Some of it to flow over the corners a little bit. I see a spot that I can see gray in right there. Well, to tell you the truth, it looks more like um looks more like um um deer antlers or moose antlers than wings, but hey, I tried, okay? And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change it. Just gonna move it around just a little bit to even it out. Okay. To tell you the truth, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to it. I'm just gonna now put it on my tray as soon as I can get my tray out. And um I'm going to put it on my tray and just see how it sets up. I'm going to put that in the dust free zone and then I'm going to come back and do a couple of squishy coasters. Because I got a lot of brown right there it looks like. And put that to bed. It's starting to look, so, it's starting to look like some really, really... <laughs> Um, some really um, um, wonky um, antlers. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to get this brown on here. I don't want to waste that brown. And then I've got the coral right here. I got some more curl over here. I am not wasting this resin. Because these are too, too pretty of colors to waste. And let me just get some of that. Now I'm kind of mixing up the colors a little bit. There goes my tile falling over. Okay. Now, uh, where's, there it is. I knew I had a fourth tile somewhere. Now I'm going to put some of the coral on here. Add a little bit of the coral to this. A little bit right there. Now 
my hand. Let me scrape out the last of this. I know there's probably some of the colors in that triple cup, but I don't want to try to get it out. So I'm going to try to work with the clear resin into these other cups. Yeah, I can see it in there, but I don't want to try to get it out. And obviously, I'm not trying to do any angel wings right here. I'm just trying to do a design of some kind on here. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get some powder out. Ah! You know what? You know what? I'm not going to try. I'll just see how a little bit of those clear mixes with, with what's left in there. It'll probably end up being a lighter brown, but that's okay. Ah, there's still some color in there. Just trying to fill in some of the holes with this brown on this one. That one might be off camera. I'm sorry about that because I don't want to put the cup in there. Okay, now let me see what I can do with some of this clear and the white. It's a little bit lighter than the white was before, but I'm not going to fool with the... Sorry, kind of concentrating, trying to get some cute little ribbons out of this. Now, okay, what I was starting to say was I'm not going to try to get the lid. I don't know, maybe I can... Uh, maybe I can move it over here just so I know that it's on the camera. It probably was the whole time. I can't look because the camera's up there. Okay, bubbles, 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 and more bubbles. Okay, now let's see about rolling some of this color around. Just trying to roll the color around a little bit so it doesn't look like hand-drawn kids' drawings. That's what I feel when I first put it on there, what it looks like. So I'm just trying to give it some movement.
not trying for cells, just trying to get it to where it's not defined lines, like a kid took a crayon to it. Well, that's it. Um, I'm probably going to put a little bit of color in that clear and pour it into a shot glass mold. I love doing that. So basically all I have to do now, that corner for some reason isn't covered. I don't like that. And that corner isn't covered either. And just like in acrylic pouring, you want to make sure you cover your corners. I just looked at the little sign that's already pooling down around it, but nothing I can do about it. Okay, let me get a little bit on this edge right here. I just don't want bare tile showing through. Ah, almost dropped it. Almost toppled over. Okay, there's number two. I don't know why I keep wiping my gloves. I'm just going back to more resin. I don't think I'm going to have anything on here to use as skins. I might, but then I might not. I don't know yet. You get your best resin skins by when it just drips off the edge and um, pools underneath it. Aha. I didn't like that bare corner. Okay, put number three to bed. I'm still learning all this about resin, so I might be doing some of this the wrong way. But you know what? It works for me, okay? Um, if, if, you, if you don't like the way I'm doing it, well, then I guess, you know, there might be somebody out there with a video that shows a different way that, that you like. Corner corner anyway so tomorrow in at the beginning of tomorrow's video no matter what it looks like i'll show you what my wing pour turned out to be so if you do like this video even though it's probably got a lot of mistakes in what i'm doing um give it a thumbs up comment and share okay and if you haven't yet please subscribe and after you subscribe, hit the little notification bell underneath the, um, underneath the, um, I mean, next to the word subscribe, not underneath. Um, hit the little notification bell, and that way you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. I am planning on doing some more experiments of something that I've seen done in acrylic pouring that I want to try in resin. Um, so anyway, I thank you for watching. Your support means a lot to me, even if you, even if you give me a thumbs down, because I'm not the best at this, but I'm learning. And hopefully, oops, almost fell backwards off my chair. Hopefully everybody else is learning along with me. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.